So welcome guys to 2023 with um, just vanning it. We've had a bit of a we've had a bit of a false start to the year. Um, do you want to explain a bit? Yeah, so Derek um, was fortunate enough to head over to New Zealand for Christmas and year to see some family who I hasn't seen in four years. I stayed back to work and look after Bob and unfortunately was extremely unwell um, over Christmas. Basically through to now, I just started coming right, so probably about a week and a half of being incredibly ill still waiting for the results to come back but it is a good thing I'm feeling better and unfortunately we we're with some friends who made sure I was okay and looked after me while Derek was away because that was pretty challenging guys if you're watching this um, thank you so much it's not easy when you're abroad wife or partner gets crook and you, just, you know you can only go, use the phone it wasn't ideal I was pretty stressed about it but um, I'm glad to hear that Sue's coming good and I've got back I've only got back a couple days ago um, and we sort of hitched the van and we sort of come straight out of here but another thing that's happened is that um, on the hottest day in Victoria of course our air con stopped working suddenly 38 degrees Sue rung me in New Zealand I tried to sort of fix that it over the it. phone but it didn't work so we've got to get that fixed as well so that's gonna not the start we wanted to do for 2023 we've had a really bad run since sort of Cape York with everything happening I just hope that when we get the aircon fixed that we can sort of have a good run and we can sort of head west so we are going to go um, through South Australia and do a couple of stops along there we are no real rush to get to WA we're just uh, planning on getting there sort of after the school holidays and then um, sort of um, Work our way around. Work our way down the bottom. Something is biting me here. Fingers um, crossed. Work our way down. Lucky. Yeah, work our way around the bottom of Espen sort of side for a couple of months, and then work our way up the coast, which we're super excited because that's the only state and Tasmania that we haven't touched or even seen. So it's super pumped for that. But we're in currently at um, is it Lake Glen Maggie? Lake Glen Maggie in Victoria. We've come out here um, to some friends and. Victoria's turned the day on for us, so we're going to start the day with a, um, a breakfast for champions. There's a couple of little things we can do around the area that we're pretty excited to go and have a look at. We can take take you along with us. Um, there's a little bit of history about this um, um, dam. I've been told. I, don't quote me on this, but Lake um, Glen Maggie actually used to be a town. A town, and they decided that this needs to be the dam and they built the dam and they moved the town so under this water they actually um, flooded the town well they flooded the town to create this dam and um sometimes now look victoria we know has had a lot of rain so i believe when it's really low you can still see the, the some of the chimneys of the houses popping up and the fencing and the, actually the foundation the foundation so that's pretty wild to think that they would have flooded an entire, entire town. town to build a dam but there's also the dam wall, there's a couple of things around we want to go and have a look at, but first we're going to go jump into some breakfast. Alright guys, I thought I'd start um, this morning with a breakfast for champions. But now, since we've got to wait for Sue's results, I've got to do the cooking as well. Woohoo, I, I think we might uh, might hold up on those results for a no, little while. I don't want to catch whatever, you, <laughs> whatever you've got or had. I don't mind the idea of a personal chef. What? Really? Yeah, no. Oh, well. But guys, um, bacon, we didn't have bacon, so I shut down to the local um, general store. They've actually got quite a bit there, to be honest. Um, I'll show you something in a minute that we kind of got wrong yesterday, but um, I've actually got to physically show you that. So I actually, that's the reason why I had to go to the general store. But I picked up some bacon, so I'm busy cooking up the bacon in the that. old um, Weber casserole dish. These dishes the are just yeah, on the Ziggy, but I mean... We had this when we had the Weber, and I'll tell you what, it's an absolute great dish because it's non-stick. You can get a bigger one. This is the smaller one. So what I'll do is Perfect I'll cook. for two people, the smaller one. Yeah, so what I'll do is I'm just slowly adding the bacon as we go along because I'll warm it up in a minute. And then what I'm going to do is crack the eggs into here. Oh, listen cook. to that. Oh, yes. Okay, and crack the um, eggs into that. And, um, I don't know, get some toast, get a good um, feed in us this morning because um, I believe... Um, we might be going on the boat, there might be a bit of tubing involved. I don't know, it's not really my cup of tea, the old thing, but... What, extreme you know what? water sports? I said 2023, it's time to step out of my comfort zone. 
I think you need to be, be on those um, extreme water sports. Yeah, I don't really also want to, um, you know, break a leg. We haven't had a great start to 2023, so just those things sort of do make me wary. Maybe it's just um, better I just sit in the boat, you know. I'll, I'll do the little You'd flag. You'll be the blow. spotter. I'll be the spotter. <laughs> What have we got going over here? I've got myself a bacon and egg sandwich. Yeah, thanks to uh, the chef. Thanks to the chef. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I that, like you, chefing. I'm that hungry. I don't even have time to make me um, bread. I've got two eggs and some bacon. Now tuck into that and we get the day started, eh? Rightio. So, Sue's just handed me this gift. Um, Bob's had a little nibble of it. Apparently, it's been around for a while. Apparently, I'm waiting for you to come back from New Zealand. Apparently Sue has been having a yawn with uh, one of the followers and um, she's given me this. I've no idea what it is. Let's have a squizzy. Nothing like a little little gift, Black. Yeah, nothing like a little gift. Look at you, ripping it open. Yeah, no time wasted here. Like, I'm still like a little kid. Um, what have we got here? There's a little card. Let's open this. It says, uh, Merry Christmas, Derek and Sue. Wishing you joy and happiness this Christmas. A little something for you both. Best wishes, Christine and Mark, Mrs. Mr. and Mrs. Meyer. Righty yeah. let's have a look. Hey. Hey, what is this? What have you got? What is this? Embark dark roast. That, my love, is that's coffee. A, that's coffee. There Thank you, go. you, you very got a much. couple of those. The gums, coffee co, delicious. Thank you so much, guys. Got here. Some gifts here. Let's have a little look-see. That looks like sunglasses. So if you saw earlier, yes. Bob had a little chew of Derek's sunglasses. Yeah, a few, few episodes back, you would have seen that Bob ate my sunglasses, so I don't know what's happened yet. Do you want to tell a bit of the story about what's going on here? I've just seen that we've got sunglasses. I don't even yeah, know. Yeah, so Christine contacted me because she saw that Bob had had a chew yeah. um, on Derek's sunglasses. And she wanted to get Derek some new sunglasses. So wow. we've been planning in the background while he's been overseas. Um, and yeah, this is just hugely, oh, hugely, hugely appreciated. Appreciated. Wow. Incredibly like. grateful and very, very generous. Um, really appreciate it. And Thank you so much. Let's try one on, eh? Yeah, get them open. Let's, Let's have a look. Get them open. Let's have a little look see. What are they? O'Neill. Here we go. Oh wow, those are really nice. There you go. Hey, what do you reckon? Far out, those are awesome. Very nice, thank you so much guys. Really, really appreciate it. Just the thought of even sending us anything to start with um, is just amazing. Like, you know, we don't expect any anything like this at all. So that's the one. Two, two pairs, pairs. that's a bit spoiled. So in case Bob has another nibble, we'll try not to leave them out this time. Yes, please. Those are really nice. Yes, blues. Thank you so much, guys. You. Really appreciate it. That'll sort Derek out for the year and hopefully you'll oh, keep yeah. him safe from Bob. Thank you, guys, so much. Here we go, nervous, I've got a bit of age on me, here we go.
Um, they've seen a snake where we've been wakeboarding and tubing. The bloody snake, mate. The bloody snake, mate. Where is that? It's a bloody snake. Oh, it is too. Look at this, guys. Oh, Check this out. Do a lap around it. Holy moly. Yeah, snakey, snakey, snakey. <laughs> Bit closer, please, Captain. Captain's gone a bit far from our snake. That's insane, eh? Bit closer, please, Captain. Dear sir. My first encounter with an Australian snake is in the water. <coughs> Here we go. Here we go. He's at full noise there. You can't go any quicker than that. I don't know if you can see that. Let's have a look. Yes. Hello, mate. Hello, mate. The funny thing is, there's multiple stories about this sort of thing. Watch how it climbed up. Look at that head. This is the part I don't like, is when you actually see him out the water. See, if you're cruising past, you wouldn't see him. Well, guys, that was absolutely super fun, wasn't it? That was loads of fun. I have not been on a floatable device like that in about, let's be honest, it's got to be at least 10, maybe 15 years since I've been on it. I've done myself a mischief. I've, I've pulled a muscle in my neck, so when I turn, I've got to turn sort of full on like that. That's I'm, all day. And that's why I didn't want to go on it, because I thought I was going to do myself a mischief. Oh, but, but did you do it on it? Huh? You didn't pull it on it. I, don't know if it was on it, but it's when I got back on the boat. Oh, I've done myself. That is old age, my love. Mischief here now, but it is an absolute ripper day here, guys. And <clears throat> that little bit of boating and tubing and watching everyone on the on that surfboard thingy. I don't know what you want to call it. It's brought on a bit of a hunger. So I've got the um, Ziggy warming up over here. And we picked up um, in near Lake, um, where we? Glenn Maggie, there's a little, there's IGAs and that in town, and I've managed to get myself or myself and Sue some. Let's have a look here. Some of these that I thought I'll just throw on the barbecue for a bit of a. Oh, it's coming up for a bit of a bit of a snack on the barbecue. So I'm going to get that on, and um, we're going to have that little feed. Just throw some clothes on and go and explore a bit. So these are honey soy marinated chicken wing thingies. That is absolutely piping hot. I'll turn that down for a secky. And we're just going to do a little um, little snack for lunch. A couple of wings, maybe on a sanger. I don't know. I might get some bread involved. I'm not sure, but Bob's running a muck. Bob didn't go on the boat with us, if you were wondering. Yeah, we've still got to train him. He's not boat trained yet. Never mind. Um, <laughs> he's not he's life not even, trained. He's not even a life trained at the moment. We're a bit slack on that, to be fair. Um, how am I going to split this all on? How many are we get in here? Oh, look at this marinade. Oh, yes. Look at this. Two, four, six, seven. Four, five bucks. Can't go wrong with that. Hang on a secky. So let's pour a little bit of marinade over the chicken here. I know marinade makes a mess on these grills, so... Oh well. That one's got a little bit on. I'll keep some for the other side. And we're going to have some lunch. And um, get out exploring. Yes, please. go look at this it's a bit char grilled some of them but that's the marinade I reckon yep that's the marinade cooking right, look at this 
Nice size wings though, I've got to be honest too. Chunky. They are actually quite nice Chunky, chunky. girls. I wonder if I'm going to make myself a chicken mayonnaise sa I don't know yet. Well, so I'm just biting them. Like little Whatever finger, you want, like little, like little finger snacks. Nibble on them big girls. Right? Let's have a look. Oi. I reckon. But look at that. But I've actually got to clean that actually. So I'll leave that on for a sec. I'll come back and get that piping hot. Yes. <sighs> hot. Hot. But. Mm. The char grill there, like you can see. But I think I've about done myself on these. I mean, no, I know they're only just chicken wings, but I'm generally burning things lately, so it's a little definitely cooked. Mmm. How? Oh, I'm right hungry. It's funny when you, you you get hungry when you're active, aren't you? You do get more hungry when you're active. Sun, water and wind and fresh air will always make you mm. hungry. The weather's just so good. Saturday RV drive. Let's go. Just well, a little explore around the area or? My neck is a little bit, it's going to be so sore tomorrow. Anyway, <laughs> uh, the wind's picked up a bit on the, on the, on the dam. So that's it for, the, I think, that part of the day. But one thing I must say, enjoyed me lunch. Got some food in the belly. And now, uh, guys, we're just going to take a little bit of a drive. We've got to go to the shop to get a few bits and pieces anyway for dinner. So soon I thought, well, why not? Let, let, let's leave camp and um, let's just go and see what else there is to see around here, I suppose. Um, the dam walls on that side there, we might be able to apparently drive around, I don't know. But anyway, we'll see. And Bob's back at the van with Auntie Pearl. Yes, he's been babysitted by um, Auntie Pearl. I believe uh, she's been sending a few French Bulldog puppies to uh, Nev. Come on, Nev. Jump on board, mate. This is all we're going to do today, <laughs> hey? This and then we're going to have a beautiful uh, evening. Evening guys, uh, we've just managed to actually stop at the shop and we've grabbed ourselves a couple ice creams and we've been told about this and there's actually water coming out the, the, the what do they call them? Yeah. Sluice gates. Sluice gates, um, down into the, um, I don't know that river's name, but um, on this side of the dam, so we're on the other side of the dam, this is actually where we were um, boarding and stuff and where we saw the snake earlier was roughly just across over there so, so just to let everyone know we're at Glen Maggie Weir Reserve Weir Reserve so basically the dam wall pretty much okay and that's where they open up the sluices yeah. to let the water out open them up when there's oh, thought, um it's yeah. very hot for irrigation or I mean we took a drive we turned right out of the park and um we went up but you know that's sort of where it sort of ends and um so we came back around this way uh, I'm there are the blue swimming holes to do. It was a little bit, we've run out of time. Time's now four o'clock already. We got, you know, the chicken settled and I'm thinking about dinner already. It's been a right day. And um, yeah, we've come over this way. Yeah. Yeah. Good for you. It's a real bloody good lookout, if you ask me. And this area offers like picnic tables and stuff. So if you're, um, well, looking just to come out for the day, it's pretty good. But, yeah, we're going to eat our ice creams and um, just take in the view. And then we're going to go back and sort out um, dinner tonight. And we've got to pack up because, woo -hoo, what are we doing? We're starting, we're starting to actually head west tomorrow. We've got some big K's to do tomorrow. But um, that's going to be next week's video. So, looking forward to that. Someone got a bit burned today. I got very burnt today. Look at this. I do have a big forehead, 
But look at that corker. Mm. She's been chewed up by the sun. So what are we doing here? All Ooh. the ladies are sporting red knees. So okay. <coughs> We're wearing gloves was that explain well, to people in case they're wondering. So we've bit, gone a bit strange in 2023. Yeah, I did mention earlier that I've been really unwell for a week and a half. And one of the possibilities is that it may be a salmonella infection. Um, so until I find out exactly what it is, if Monday. it is Monday, if it is a salmonella infection, apparently it comes through your skin on your fingers. So you have to wear gloves. You can't touch food for 12 months or up to 12 months. So I don't know about that, but okay. I'm just taking precautions because I don't want to get you sick. So yeah, thank you. Appreciate yeah, that. Yeah, anytime. So what have we got going on here? So these are the potatoes for your loaded fries tonight. We're doing so something different tonight. Like, oh, even I... You're also a bit lobster. Oh, gee, person. I just, I don't like getting burnt, but anyway. Um, I'm going to try something new with the chips tonight. Um, I've seen like a bacon, cheesy loaded fries. So we're going to try that from scratch as well. So we'll make the cheesy um, sauce a bit later. Fry up some bacon. Potatoes um, are done. Chop it up. Little cubes. Potatoes are done. You can take that off. We got and I've got steak. So steak, some loaded fries. So what are you having, dear? Uh, loaded fries and salad. Loaded? What? No meat. No. You're not cutting steak up in your salad at least, or? Well, I might have a body. There's steak. a lot of steak. Just Sit to down. taste it. So here's the the slab of slab of beef right there. There you go. So. And do you know what this is for? You no. to miraculously fill with a drink. Yes, I'm gonna go and pause a little <laughs> um, a little afternoon drink. It is now. I don't even know if that time's right. Hang on. Quarter to six. Um, but the sun stays up here till half eight nine. So we're gonna just prep the food now. We sit outside, have a couple of drinks, um, and then I'm gonna do the steak on the barbecue, and then we're gonna do the fries in some oil. I know it's probably not the healthiest thing. We do have an air fryer. I don't know yet what I'm going to do. I'll decide that. I'm going to toss them in a bit of salt and pepper. And then we'll just ooze the um, cheese and bacon over the top of the fries. I'm looking forward to that. So you would have seen, we had an awesome night around the fire with some friends. Um, We're doing a bit of a reverse dinner. Like a reverse dinner. We had a bit of damper. Jason made an awesome damper. We've had a little taste of that. And um, I must say, we haven't had a lot of damper, but um, we've had a normal damper and Jason's damper. And I must say, it's absolutely incredible. And I am actually going to give a damper a go myself. But tonight, we got steak we've got some nice freshly cut chips we've got the oil cooking over there um, and to be honest with you I was gonna cook the steak on the barbecue outside but I've realized some people have gone to sleep so um, I respect that and I'm not gonna go outside and make a noise so It's not often that we actually cook chips in oil. Yeah. We normally do toss in oil in the oven or in the air fryer, but as they load the chips, we're doing them good old fashioned and healthy way. Well, it's super hot, so you just gotta be careful. Also, um, hot tip I Google making the uh, cheese sauce is that you don't want the cheese sauce to rest once it's cooked. So it's about timing here. Chips are going. Got to cook the steak, and then you cook. I think when I put the steak in, I'll start the cheese sauce. So when, so when the steak so the steak is cooked, the cheese sauce will be ready, and then we just pour it over the top of the chips. So ten minutes for the steak and the cheese sauce, and your chips yeah. are going to take 20, 25. Yeah, I'm not sure. We'll just monitor that. It's it's calmed down a bit because obviously we put the chips in, but. Right, so the steak. Now I know a lot of you are most probably saying you don't cook steak in a pan, but didn't want to cook outside because I didn't want to wake you the couple next to us so we're gonna swing that over and this is the best of oh, yeah, oh, yeah. 
All right, so that's four minutes, and I'll do four minutes on the other side, and I reckon that's medium to rare. And I'm generally known to overcook the steaks. Don't overcook my steak, oh, my sweet. I've got a lot going on here. All right, so this All is right. where we go, the load of chips. The load of chips, look at this. So that is chips, I mean, cheese sauce with bacon. Yeah, let's be honest, it's most probably not the healthiest, but before you... Don't knock it till you try it. Knock it before you try it, you know. Just enough sauce to... I want to see if I could, there's That's a little, plenty for me. Is that enough for you? Yeah. I want to try and see if I can get a little bit on the old steak, like a cheese sauce on a steak. I don't know. Guys, wow. Where did you get the uh, steak from, huh? A uh, butcher. I can't remember which one. Mm. I will say, the, um, the, the cheese sauce and bacon sauce were a little bit too much pepper, but steak, that's four minutes aside. I know it's not on the barbecue, but it is not Indeed. terrible. Uh, it is. Amazing. Amazing. Good morning. We are Ooh. officially back on the road again and starting to head west. Yes, we are. West, baby. West is best, I reckon. But, um, guys, just want to touch base quick on um, last night's dinner. It was absolutely fantastic. It was really good, tasty meal. We'll definitely um, be doing it again. Definitely be adding that cheese sauce. Not, a, not that hard to make, actually. Um, I'll actually drop in the link in the description below if you're wanting to try that sauce so it saves you time to go look for it. But, um, yeah, that's um, that's pretty much it for this episode. Um, and um, we're starting to, obviously, like we said, head, head west to South Australia. Um, we're actually going to we're thinking about touching along the old Great Ocean Road again today, so um, keep an eye out for next week's video. Now we have done the Great Ocean Road before, but we thought, you know what, well, why not? We're going that way. We're no real rush now, um, and we want to maybe stop at some places that maybe we didn't get to along the Great Ocean Road. I mean, it's been a, two years since we've been there, so in whole times today's supposed to be good weather, so we're going to be punching along there and. Um, Last time we were on the Great Ocean Road, it rained for like 10 days and we didn't really manage to get some really good photos, so who knows. But um, yeah, thanks for watching this um, video, guys. Um, we look forward to seeing you guys next week, Sunday. So from myself and Sue and Mr. Bob, have a great week. Yoo!